What is up? What is up, YouTube? It's your man, Mike C, coming back with another YouTube video. On today's video, y'all, we're going to be changing out the grill on my Cadillac uh, CT6. It's 2017. Uh, we're also going to be changing this badge to the new uh, monochrome badge. It'll go along with the rest of the badge that I have along the car. And I'm also going to um, be painting where I took my license plate off. Um, I filled it in um, with some body work or some body filler. I left a little bit of residue on here, so I'm going to repaint that so it'll be nice and clean to go with the new grill. Right now I have my hood pop because I don't have to get up on here and take the whole bumper off in order to get to this grill. Um, like I said, I haven't found any videos on YouTube on how to do this, so hopefully this helps you guys. and You can share it, like, please, like it, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, again, usually I do Harley stuff, and this probably will be the last video I do on the Cadillac because... Um, it's not a Cadillac channel. This channel is mainly for my Harley. You'll see it in the background. Back there resting, y'all. Wait a minute. Here you go. It's in the background resting. I'll be breaking it out here pretty soon. But yeah, today's focus will be on this Cadillac. So again, follow along. We're going to get it cracking. I'm going to do some paint on the bottom of here. I probably won't video that because um, it's just paint. Uh, so I'll just knock that out right quick while I have the bumper off. We're going to change this grill, y'all. So follow along. Let's get it cracking and let's go. All right, this should be pretty simple. And I'm going to try to edit this video to where it's not a very long video. Um, but I do know you have to take this cover off right here in order to get to the bolts behind the bumper. So I'm going to do that right quick. I think it's this one. This one, this one, this one, have to take that off. And again, to get to the other side of the bumper, to get the screws off. So let's do that, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, now that I got that done, I just used a pry tool to pop the little plastic pieces out. And then this little piece right here, it just comes right off. All right, and I have all my bolts to the bumpers, to the top of the bumper anyway. I'm gonna take these off. They look like Torx bolts, so I'm gonna unscrew those. I think it's like about, looks like about 10 of them. I'm gonna torque those off, and then we get to the side, and then uh, I'll come right back. Like I said, I'm going to try to edit this video so it's not a super long video. It does seem fairly simple, at least to get the bumper off. So another reason why I'm doing it is to show y'all guys and to chronicle it for myself, just in case I get lost on the process, I can always go back to the video and uh, see what I did. So, I'll get my tools, take these bolts out, and then move on to the next step. Stay tuned. All right, guys, as you can see, I took all my bolts off. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you also have, to, also have to take the ones off the tip here. And that's another one on this end. So nine bolts. And as you can see, it's already starting to be a little bit loose. So now I'm going to move on to the side. Have to take this liner out right here. And get to the bolts that's behind this liner. So I just, You could take your wheel off. It might take, make it a little bit easier. But all I did was turn the wheel to get access behind here. So I'm gonna take these bolts out right here and get behind the liner. I'll be right back. All right, guys, when you get these liner bolts out, you get behind there, try to do this with one hand so it might be a little difficult. There's gonna be this little bolt right here and it's gonna be right at the top, right up there. We're kind of at the corner of the bumper, right here. It's gonna be and right up there, all right? Look like it's only one so far. Now what I'm gonna do is go to the other side and do that, and then I'm sure I'm gonna have to go up under the bottom of the car, and there's gonna be boats up at the bottom. And I'll show y'all guys that if I can. And then it uh, looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see this, and it's going to be pretty difficult to record this because I'm so close to the bottom of the car at the bumper. But it's kind of pretty self explanatory. Just follow the bolt pattern along the bottom of the car, and you can see what bolts 
are in your um, or with screws, whatever, are in the bumper. Just take those out along the bottom of the car. I mean, that's, that part is kind of self-explanatory. Just follow along the one that's to the bumper of the car. Take those out and then move on. It's hard to record this again because I'm so low and I don't have a jack. So, just doing it kind of like the hard way but easy way at the same time. Stay tuned. Alright guys, once you get the... Once you take the cover back to get to this boat right here I was showing you. You get the bolts right here on the side from the cover. You get all the bolts on the bottom. As I explained, the one that's connected to the bumper is pretty self-explanatory. You do the same thing on this side. And just start carefully pulling it off. Now I did use a pry tool. Just to, because it is kind of like clipped in a little bit right here. So get you a pry tool and just kind of gently, carefully just start prying it apart and uh, it looks like it comes off pretty simple so I'm gonna pull it off because I do believe there is an electrical connector behind here um, that connects all the sensors and stuff and the lights so I'm gonna try to find that and then uh, I'll be right back excuse me if uh, it's a little shoddy again I'm doing this by myself and I'm doing it with one hand so you know like I said it's pretty self-explanatory just follow along and if you have any questions just hit me in the comments but yeah, it's coming along pretty smooth. Uh, stay tuned. All right, now that I got the bumper slightly pulled off, pretty easy, there will be some connectors. And excuse me if I'm repeating myself, y'all, because I'm editing this together and I'm trying to shoot a couple of different videos at the same time to get it um, a short video for you guys. So if I'm repeating myself, I do apologize. But there will be a connector in here. And luckily for the CT6, it's gonna be on your passenger side right behind or right in front of your um your your tire let me see if i can get it in there it's kind of hard to get it y'all that little piece right there that, that'll be your connector to um uh, unconnect or disconnect everything that's running in the front it connects your uh your sensors and your lights and all that so once you get that out this piece right here this piece right here this rotates down the top rotates down this way, and you can disconnect it and pull it all the way out. So I'm going to get that done, and then uh, pull this bumper all the way off. Stay tuned. All right, guys, after a little bit of pulling, the bumper is off. Like I said, this would be the before. You know, like I said, once you get your connector out, your connector is right here. Again, it'll be... Um, in front of your passenger side tire very easy access this like this rotate it down like that and it might be a little tough depending on how often you then took it off but it will come off or well, will come down i'm sorry rotate it down and then um go ahead and pull it off all right okay now I definitely suggest you have something on the ground to prevent scratching the bumper even more. So now that the bumper is off, I'm going to take the grill out now. So you can see where I had these holes. I try to do a little bit of um, touch up paint on it, but that's just not getting it for me because you can definitely see that I don't like it. So I'm just going to do it the right way. Um, let's get this grill out of here first. And then uh, move on to the next step. Stay tuned. Okay, now we're going to move on to trying to get this grill out. All right. And I definitely suggest laying something on the ground so you don't scratch the other side of your bumper and your chrome surround piece if you're doing this. Um, but there is a, a piece right here. I'm pretty sure this is a absorption piece if i'm even saying that word right but you have to get this little razor blade little thing off to get this off and it unclips this way and so since i can't do this with one hand i'm sorry again for making this video choppy but um i'll try to edit it together to make it one a decent uh, time video so take this off right here 
I already got this one off. What I did, well, I took a screwdriver, just kind of like wears it in there, and then this piece will come off. So let me get that done again, because I'm doing this with one hand, I'll be right back. All right, now that that's off, which was a little bit of pain in the butt, I can get on and move on to my camera. Now, I do have a front camera. It looks like what they did, they melted some uh, plastic in here to keep the screws from backing off, which is cool. But I gotta get my heat gun, melt this plastic a little bit to get these screws out to take my camera off. And then I can get to these little clips, you know, and clip this off, take my surround off, and then uh, we can move forward. Like I said, pretty simple. It's very tedious though. So, you know, if you got a little bit of time and you don't mind the work, like I said, I love working on my own stuff. So it's fun for me. Um, but I'm getting my heat gun, heat this up a little bit so I can take these screws out and then move on to the next step. So far, so good though. It's coming along. Stay with me. All right, quick little update. In order to get this camera screw out, it's a special kind of tool that you need to get this this uh, screw out, which I got all the tools almost in the world, at least for doing little stuff like this, but I don't have this particular uh, tool right here. So off to Home Depot to get one of these, you know, but in the meantime, I am going to take this piece off, which is this boat, this boat or screw, whatever you call it, and I think it's this one. Then I have to take all these off, all the way around. Then I have to unclip these all the way around to get this grill out. Like I said, to try to keep the video short, I don't want to have me on camera doing all that stuff because it's pretty self-explanatory. But I'll do all that, run to Home Depot, get this tool out, or get this tool to get this screw out. And then when I come back, all this should be off. And then we're going to uh, prepare the bumper for paints. But I will show you all the new grill. All right, stay tuned. All right, y'all, I got all these clips out. Took this piece off right here. Took all the screws out. Now all I gotta do is go get that tool to uh, take that screw out. Now I'm not gonna lie, getting this grill off, getting all these clips off, um, just take your time. Let me show you what I did. I don't know if I can find my screwdriver. There it is. You wanna take your screwdriver. It's gonna be in there like that. Just take your screwdriver and pry them out. Um, just take your time. It, it's not, it's easy, but it is tedious. And it takes a little time if you want to do it right and not break anything. I didn't break any clips, luckily. You just have to, you know, be careful. Don't get frustrated. It is a little tedious, and some of some of them you have to work with a little bit because, you know, if it came on from the factory, it's going to be a little tight um, because it's been on there for a while. So, uh, yep. Now all I have to do is get that tool to get this off, to get my camera off, and then this mug is out of here. We out of here. So, off to Home Depot. Get that too, and uh, come back and get it ready for paint. S stay tuned. All right, here we go, guys. It's all I took apart now. Um, you can better see now that this took apart this little stuff right here that I'm about to paint. I showed y'all earlier. I'm about to get, get that all fixed up. And also, when I noticed uh, when I took the bumper off, it's a little crack right here. So while I got the bumper off, I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Go ahead and bondo it up, sand it down, paint it. And um, I'm about to wash it down right now. I would put the painting process on video. You can see the Harley in the background. Now, I would put the painting process on video, but um, this ain't really a painting, painting video. I am going to do it myself, though. Um, I find great pride in doing all this work myself, so... Now I'm going to paint that off, then I will show y'all the reassembly of putting the grill on. Um, this is the old grill right here. The new grill is in the house somewhere. Y'all see it here in a second. Let me go ahead and clean this off, 
I'll go ahead and bottle that little crack up, paint this, and uh, I'll come back with the process of putting the grill back in, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, stay tuned. All right, here we go, y'all. Next day, beautiful Sunday morning. Look at this outside. Ooh, look at that. That's beat up right there. That's all right. You about to be fixed, baby. I got you coming. I'm about to get you fixed up today. We coming back. Beautiful Sunday morning, y'all. All right. Nice little Easter Sunday. Still early in the morning. But check it out. So here's the, here's the old grill right here, you know. And there's the new one. That's that mesh. You know, you can see the difference in the badges. The original one is a lot bigger. But this monochrome one is smaller. And I can suggest if you're going to do this with this grill, the monochrome uh, badges, they only come for the, I do believe, the X-T4 and the X-T5 and the Cadillac Escalade. So if you're doing this process on the, um, the uh, CT6, at least on my year, you have to order the uh, monochrome emblems that go with the X-T5. Um, that's the only one that fits, by the way. And while I had the uh, surround off, I took some Neverdoor and went on to shine that up too so everything can match. So now that the bumper is painted, I'm going to go ahead and start with the reassembly process. Um, and all you have to do is do everything in reverse. Do everything in reverse. So I'll try to get as much as I can on video. Uh, but again, it's just simply just doing everything in the reverse, the reverse pat pattern. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so again, you do everything in reverse. I took my surround, my chrome surround, and you just clip it in the back. I'm gonna take my monochrome, clip that right on the front. That snaps right in there. And then you lay it in there. And uh, like I said, you put all your screws in and do everything in reverse. Now again, I'm not gonna show everything if you have any questions, just hit me in the comments. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, and I want to keep this video short. So if it's helping you so far, or if you like what you see, please, again, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and get this back together, and I'll try to uh, edit it to make it a short video, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right? Stay tuned. All right, as you can see, you clip the grill in first. All right? Then you go around and put your surround on, all right? And then you put the screws on. Again, just do everything in reverse. And uh, it should be pretty simple. Again, forgive me if I'm repeating myself. Um, I'm still trying to record a couple videos at the same time, so it's a little choppy with these edits. But yeah, yeah, it seems to be pretty simple. I'm gonna put these screws in, put my camera on. Mount my camera there. And then um, I'll go through the process of putting it back on the car. All right, stay tuned. Okay, real quick, one thing I did want to note. There will be on the corner of your old grill, there's a piece missing right there. It's not really missing. It goes on like this. But the reason why I'm saying this is because there are two screw holes right here. This one and this one right here. On the other side, it looks like this. You have to take those out and save them to use them for the new grill. And it goes right here and right here. You need to take those out in order to put that piece back on. All right. I'll put that on and then we're going to continue all right now that it's all back together that's what it should look like and look at that oh my goodness Woo -hoo -hoo. i like that peoples i likes that well give me give me a like if you if you feel what that's looking like give me a like comment and subscribe if you're feeling what that's looking like i like it looks way better like I said here, and this is the before. So we go from that 
Well, from that to that. Yeah, I'm feeling that right there. All right. So now it's time to reassemble the bumper on there, which would be pretty quick. All you got to do is follow the bolt pattern. And then uh, I'm going to put that on and show you all what it looks like when it's all the way on. And let's go from there. All right. All right. All right, so now that I got the bumper reassembled and everything ready to go back on, I'll show you all that process. And then, uh, like I said, I'll try to edit the video so it's not really that long. Um, but let's go. Make sure you hook your wire connector back up, your electrical connector. I don't know if I can get out in there. Um, I don't even know if y'all can see it, but make sure you hook your your wire connector back up and make sure you put that gray nozzle back to the up position to make sure it's locked in. Um, Cause if you don't, you probably start throwing a bunch of codes. So if you are throwing a bunch of codes, you know why. Um, but again, I'm just gonna hook that back up and uh, put all my bolts back in. It should be a pretty simple process. Um, I don't wanna record all that again, again because I'm trying to make this a short video. But uh, y'all yeah, get it all back together and show you all the final results, and then we'll go from there. All right? All right. Quick note, it's also a good idea before you um, get the bumper all the way back on, in order to check to make sure that your plug is in and not throwing any codes or make sure all your cameras and stuff work. Before you put the bumper back on, go in there and start your car. Make sure your camera is in the right angle to make sure that everything is okay because if you put your bumper on, and then find out it's not in there all the way. You got to take it all the way back off. And that's just a hassle. So when you put your connector on, start your car up, make sure everything is straight. All right? Cool. And just like that, dudes. Dudes and dudettes. My fellas. My ladies, if you're watching. We all buttoned up. Like I said, I didn't want to record putting every screw and bolt back in because it's pretty self-explanatory. I tried to keep the video as short as I could. Um, again, if you have any questions, please hit me in the comments. But yeah, it looks real nice to me. Check, show you another before. We went from that to that. What y'all think? Uh -uh. Yeah, I like it. Now this kit also came with the back, so y'all, see now they all match, cause I had one of these on the side too. Got one on the, the rim, on the side. And then this one goes on the back, all right? Now I don't know if I'm gonna shoot a video on that because that's pretty simple too. All you gotta do is heat this up, go with a fishing line, this comes with some uh, 3M tape on the back of it. I probably reinforce it with some more tape just to make sure it don't come off. And that goes back on. That's pretty self-explanatory. So I don't think I have to do a video on that. But yeah, just a quick recap. Um, like I said, it's pretty easy to do. If you do want to do this with this grill, you have to make sure that you get the uh, monochrome emblem that goes with the X-T5. That's the only one that fit. Uh, clearly that one is bigger one, bigger than this one. So, uh, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you. Um, it was fairly easy to do. The reason why I do these videos is because I want to show you guys that anybody can do it. I'm sure I saved myself probably anywhere from with the paint 
and everything and the time it took to do it took me probably a day and a half because I had to paint um, but I probably saved myself probably fifteen hundred dollars taking it to the dealership um, that's the reason why I do these videos for you guys to show you that you can do it you know um, so yeah again I know I'm starting to rumble at the end because I'm trying to wrap this video up I wish I had some kind of outro music to do for you guys uh, but the more videos that I do, um, I think the better I get at them, at least I'm trying to, at least this might be my last Cadillac video because it's getting warm outside and I'm trying to get back on my bike, trying to get back on my Harley. So, you know, stay tuned for videos on that. Those is coming this spring because it's getting hot outside. It's a beautiful sunny day, Sunday. But yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you. Um, like I said, like always, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to come by and see what I did with my Cadillac. So I appreciate it. Love you guys, and I'm out. Peace.